real reason for the Obama's multi-year project with Netflix is far worse than anyone thought. By frankly for WNOfficial.com, Netflix just announced on Twitter that they linked a multi-year deal to produce series, a series uh, of films with Barack and Michelle Obama. Uh, the show will be uh, part of the Netflix streaming series and former president and first lady will be portrayed in a heaping of various ways. This could be uh, seen as just another job for the Obama family in search to remain relevant in politics and culture. Or there might be another agenda hidden in the Democratic silver lining which would make uh, their desire to work much worse than anyone thought, you think? So some uh, critics believe the Obama family signed on to the deal in hopes to use Netflix to sneak their Democrat agenda into the mainstream media, uh, mainstream uh, streaming services and try to push uh, for the Democrat candidate in the 2020 election. Uh, you think maybe? We're not uh, that far away uh, from the next election and the Obamas have signed a multi-year deal uh, that could take them right up to the election. And it's uh, likely that they'll use the platform to push people to vote for whomever the Democrat candidate is. Uh, that idea has some critics of the Obama family who subscribed to Netflix express they were disappointed or upset that Netflix signed with them. They also put Susan Rice to uh, manage there. What, what did she do also? They have Susan Rice in there. What does that tell you? The reaction proves once again that politics mixing with entertainment is a complete disaster. Some critics have expressed their disinterest in any programs involving the Obamas. So why are they putting them up there? Who's paying the bill for this, right? Uh, yeah, they, they, let's move on. Uh, we'll get to that. Netflix expressed their disappointment uh, or upset that Netflix signed with them. The reaction proves once again politics mixing with entertainment is a complete disaster. Some critics expressed their disinterest in any programming involving the Obamas and stated that they simply uh, won't watch it. Others expressed that they'll just give it a poor rating and move on. Some Netflix users have uh, already canceled and moved to other streaming services. Uh, I'd suggest that. President Barack Obama and Michelle have entered into a multi-year agreement to produce films and series for Netflix, potentially included scripted series, unscripted series, docu-series, documentaries, and features. Uh-huh. CBS provided details on the Netflix and Obama partnership, which might spell doom for Netflix. Former President Barack Obama and the former witch uh, First Lady Michelle Obama have signed a multi-year agreement to produce films and series for Netflix. The streaming service announced Monday in a tweet the deal potentially included all this crap. And Netflix said in a statement that the content will be available to its 125 million members in 190 countries. Isn't that precious? The Obamas have started Higher Ground Productions. Notice the name, Higher Ground, right? Michelle, when they go high, uh, when they go low, we go high. Yeah, yeah, you already proved how high you went. You, lower than a slug in the ground. Uh, to produce their content for Netflix in a statement shared by Netflix. Obama said he and Michelle, yeah, he and Michelle uh, hope to cultivate and curate the talented, inspiring, creative voices who are able to promote greater empathy and understanding between people and help them share their stories and the, uh, to the, with the entire world as if they give a flying crap about anybody but themselves anyway. Uh, in her statement, Michelle, yeah, let's not forget her statement here, said Netflix's unparalleled service is a natural fit for the kinds of stories we want to share, and we look forward to starting this exciting new partnership. She better get somebody real good to fix her hair because she's a total mess. 
Anyway, according to New the New York Times, which first reported that the former president was in negotiations with Netflix, Obama does not plan to use the show to respond directly to President Trump or any of his political critics. Uh, well, that, that puts you like to 20% viewership because 80% uh, of the country is for Trump. So why is Netflix signing losers like the Obamas that are, are, should be uh, heading to Gitmo very shortly? Uh, doesn't make any sense. Uh, it, is Netflix trying to tell us that they're not going to be prosecuted? Uh, very good question there. So they have lifted up stories of people uh, who, whose efforts make a difference. Yeah, are quietly changing the world for the better. No, those days are over about quietly changing the world while we were all asleep. Uh, but when we woke up, we saw how you changed the world and not, not many people like what, you're, what you've changed. So they're considering their future plans that they would explore new ways to help others and tell and share their stories. The Times also said of the negotiations in March that the deal could result in a series of high-profile shows that will provide him with a global platform. What are they always talking about? The globalism. Mm -hmm. After his departure from the White House, some believe Netflix knew there might be a reaction from their users when they signed the Obamas if people are reacting by canceling their subscriptions with Netflix. Then Netflix might be losing some of their income. However, one could speculate that Netflix saw this reaction. In other words, they were this was in the making before the Obamas left. You get it? So Netflix might, be, okay, so Netflix saw this reaction coming years ago when they raised prices on certain tiers of their services. The prices went up anywhere from one to two dollars per month. Not a huge increase per household, but a nice increase for Netflix based on how many subscribers they have. For example, one plan went from uh, 12 bucks to 14, still cheap and much better than a lot of cable programming, but one can ponder if Netflix saw their users being upset when they signed with a political figure. However, their pricing increase is most likely due to them offering more shows a, at high quality. Yeah, right. If Netflix were to keep their rates as they were, then some shows may not have been possible, like the Obama show. People need to remember that it costs money to produce shows at high quality and that any subscription under 15 bucks is still a good deal. Uh huh. The uh, other aspect of the Obama and Netflix deal is that the Obamas were once connected to Harvey Weinstein. Uh, people in the film industry, mostly the liberal celebs, uh, have always loved the Obama family. Now there's a surprise again. However, the connection with the gr uh, grimy alleged predator, who looks like the second coming of Shrek, Harvey Weinstein, uh, have some people concerned. In fact, Barack and Michelle's daughter, M Malia, uh, even had an internship with Harvey. And it's rumored that he might still owe her money. How nice. Anyway, TMZ provided this info. Rumors began to swirl in March that 44 and the former First Lady were in talks with Netflix, but the terms of the deal uh, were still unclear. The Obamas have always uh, been champions of the film industry, really, and at once had close uh, ties with uh, Harvey Weinstein before all his sexual assault allegations surfaced. Their daughter, Malia, even had... Oh, right. Why are they repeating it? Will the Obama talk show uh, uh, talk about Harvey Weinstein and Malia? Who gives a flying crap? Uh, if you're on Netflix, then uh, will you uh, cancel because they're doing a show with the Obamas? Definitely. Or do you simply not care and won't watch it? Both. Uh, if people vote uh, it thumbs down enough times, then maybe it will get canceled early and people won't have to cut ties with Netflix. Uh, Netflix is a bunch of trash. I have Netflix. 
uh, I'm considering uh, canceling. Uh, the only uh, things I watch are, are uh, you know, funny stuff that have nothing to do with politics. Uh, uh, the Frasier, the what it, reruns of the, uh, you know, House of Cards. Um, what's that other one uh, that I like? Shameless and all this crap. But uh, the, th the fact of the matter is that... Uh, I don't watch any of their, uh, they're mostly all, uh, anything else is gruesome. Uh, the Drew Barrymore one is disgusting. Uh, I had, I like Drew Barrymore. I won't watch that. Uh, they, they're always pushing their agendas on Netflix and they're using our money to push their agendas. And who in their right mind would carry out a business deal when you know people don't like the Obamas? 80% uh, of the people do not like the Obamas. We're not in for globalism uh, and all this garbage. So who's footing the bill? Uh, you know, that's a good question. Let's look into who supports the liberals, you know. Who is a bear, who's uh, infiltrating everything that supports liberal agendas? Oh, could it be George Soros maybe? that's footing the rest of the bill to put them on because he thinks people are stupid enough to watch him. You know, I mean, really, it is distur disturbing what they're pushing on Netflix, the movies that they're pushing, uh, all uh, New World Order crap, and uh, enough is enough. And, you know, uh, you know, other than uh, basic shows like uh, old shows, I, I won't even bother. After uh, after all, there is still good shows. Uh, there are still good shows and movies, but if you need a replacement, then maybe Hulu is worth trying. Um, not really, not really, not really. You know what the thing is? It's it's they they've infiltrated everything. It really is sad. Uh, unless you just keep the uh, things and just totally avoid it, but they're still getting money to fund their uh, programming. I mean, it's a catch-22. They have really cornered the markets, really. They have really s uh, screwed with us big time, you know? Really screwed with us big time. I don't, I don't really have a real answer other than canceling them. Then what are you going to watch? That's, that's the question, you see? Uh, and they know this, and they know this. But doesn't mean that those shows will, but they'll, they'll take the hit on the Obamas. Um, that's basically what they're going to do. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.